guys and we're here to get this uh evidence clip out for you you yes, know we are we're talking about a uh, a couple of pieces of evidence from some of our recent within the past year or so investigations mm -hmm. um one being our most recent time out at the everett road covered bridge yes and we have two clips coming from that and the yes, other one do. is out at myrtle hill cemetery yes. visiting the witches ball which Don't. is by itself just a beautiful gravestone but when you're out there in the dead of night and you see all the different stuff and like you you feel that that energy and that presence man it, it becomes a whole different object yeah, so it does we it um really does we're gonna bump up the audio just the audio level on that clip it's there's only one clip from that investigation yes but after um Chris says, we'll leave that flashlight here. You can hear something saying, where are you going? And then there's a little crackle after that. Yes. But listen really quick, right, right after Chris says, um, we can leave that flashlight here, and he starts to walk away. Right. It says, Just like, as soon as I pass that We, we that think ball. it says, you know, where where are you going? Um, it kind of use headphones for that. Yeah, so. it's definitely a headphone video. The other two, um, one is a... Uh, an evidence of Chris was starting to feel a presence following him. It yes. started pretty early on in the investigation. Pretty well, strong energy that night. Exactly. We did EMF sweeps before, and there was no no spi spikes no. or anything like that. We checked our equipment because we always get a baseline reading on our equipment. Yes, we do. And as I would uh, approach him on the video you're about to see, I get a giant spike. And you can't see it because I'm looking down, but my acknowledgement, it's, it's not anything I'm going to fabricate. You know, no. I'm just literally looking down. So... Check out out that video, and we're actually going to play that one for you first right now. Yes, we are. So go ahead, check this out, and tell us what you think. Okay, guys? Thank you. Yeah. Dude, I think it's following me. It's following me. It went up. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, it is. Because I just spiked right now. As I walked up to you, it's when it spiked. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So right. what did you guys think of that one? Um, it's really amazing how the the spike happened. As soon as I walked up in that little space, it was just like a foot behind Chris. And yes, as soon was. as I'd walk into that, I could feel the energy, and I had that spike, and, and that was definitely um, one of the more eerie moments we've had. And we've been out to Everett's Road Covered Bridge a couple times. Yes, and that was the eeriest night. For like, sure, by far. Yes, it was. And it also led to this next clip you're about to see where later on in the investigation, this is after we had uh, already acknowledged that the thing was following Chris. This yes, is, it was. Uh, after that. So in the top right corner of the screen, and I'll throw like a little arrow pointing to the area so you can yep. see what we're talking about, but um, there's a... Uh, there's a an, an orb, and we we normally don't talk about orb stuff no, or, or acknowledge too much orb stuff as like actual evidence because there's so many things. We watch the bugs, we watch the dust particles, yeah, and that was happening all night. And this was a perfect sphere, perfect. And um, it wasn't really a dusty night because it was no, very it rainy, wasn't. and most of everything had kind of settled down dust wise. Yes. So, um, 
yeah, tell us what you think of this little video. Uh, it's a quick one. I'll play it probably like once or twice, maybe slow yes. it down a little bit on the second one. And uh, yeah, just let us know what you think of this one, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Are you next to me? All right, now, like we said, it, you can see the orb yep. um, manifest right there and then come in the direction that Chris is talking it was, about. It was very quick, right after it's like, are you standing next to me, I think. And hopefully it? me slowing it down a little bit on that, that second part playthrough, it, uh, it helped maybe give a little bit more sight to it. But it's a very quick one. Um, like I said, we don't normally acknowledge many orbs, in any no, anymore especially. Don't. But... It's that, that 1%. One, yeah, that one kind of definitely sparked our interest. So yes. let us know what you guys think in the comments. We'd love to get the interactions on that. Um, the final clip we have is from a whole other investigation. It's actually one of our most recent investigations. Yes, it was. Um, it was out at the Myrtle Hill Cemetery and the famous Witch's Ball. Yep. And there's a lot of lore around that. And I know, Chris, you've posted some of the lore up on that, right, to the yeah, Facebook? Um, I haven't posted it. Well, we can repost that. some of that just so you guys can hear some of the stories. Some of it we'll is fiction. Some of it is um, stuff that they have proven, you know, but... Yeah, we'll talk about it on our live show. Yeah, Legends we'll talk of... about it, and then we'll post some stuff after yes, the live show. Yeah, so expect to see that up tomorrow and everything. So tell us what you guys think of this. Um, as Chris is walking away, the um, we think something says, like, where are you going? So it's very quiet. I'm going to bump up the volume a little bit. Bump up the volume. Bump up the volume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bump up the volume a little bit. And just let us know what you guys think because it was as he was turning and after he says just we can passing, leave that light. Just passing the, the ball itself. Yeah, and uh, he said we can just leave that light there and then, you know, we go to walk away and boom. I think you, you think if we were leaving, they wanted to try to talk to us more. Yeah, I think it was like, oh, shit, I should probably, I should probably say something, you know? <laughs> right, and we did stay for a little bit longer, but... Later on, it was definitely something watching of us later that night before oh, for we sure. left. Yes. So just let us know what you guys think on this one. And, uh, you know, we we'll just leave something in the comments. Right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. We'll just keep that light on. All right. We'll just keep that light on. So, what did you guys think what of that? Think? I mean, that was definitely one of uh, the the harder to listen to, but you gotta you gotta really hear it. If I played it back a couple times, and after the second or third time, man, I could really hear it plain right. as day. I so, had to cut play it a couple of times with my headphones on. The only thing is it goes into that crackle, so it's a little hard. Yes. And I'm sorry, I did bump up the audio, so make sure you're being careful with your headphones. Don't go too loud. No. But <laughs> you, you can definitely hear it, you know. Um, and just let us know what you guys think about that one. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed the uh, this evidence video. Yes, I know did. we had the uh, Squire's Castle one, and now we've done this one. We're going to do more evidence videos like this, yes, and then we, we have an investigation upcoming. So yes, we do. Be on the lookout for that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and we're going to be uh, putting up another video, so check out that video as well. But thanks for watching these videos, guys, Thank and you check guys. out the live videos.